Now, take a look at this. These are cool, usable bags that are sustainable, or Cubs bags. Yeah, Cubs bags is also the name of the company founded by two moms in Boulder, and they are our guests today. We are joined by Alexis Bale and Judy Godak. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, How did this whole thing get started? Well, we felt that we wanted something fashionable and sustainable that doesn't look like this, that you take to the store. So we started investigating sustainability. These are not sustainable in the least. They're actually very bad for, they, they go directly into the landfill. They're not recyclable and they're not attractive. So green doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be <laughs> ugly. And so we set about finding uh, some beautiful materials to make into shopping bags, gym bags, purses. Well, these are very colorful and we'll be showing you close-ups of these gorgeous bags in just a second. But what kind of background did you have for running a bag company, Alexis? Well, we were neighbors and our kids used to play together and we both own our own other businesses. Uh, Judy has a sustainable design business and I have an ink and toner business remanufacturing and saving our planet as well. So you had business know-how. Business know-how. Yeah. And then this crazy idea of the bag, it's like, well, how do I ride on my scooter with a backpack? Well, let's make a backpack. So I went to my de design friend, Judy, make us a backpack and let's start a business. And, and here we are. are. And, and, yeah, now look at it. So how do you divide up all the duties? Does this can be a lot of work? Actually, it's easy. We each, we don't overlap at all. We each do things well. We have different skill sets. Judy yeah. can design like crazy. I can't do that at all. We both love fashion, and I can sell. So we're a great team. Perfect These are match. fun. These are made of remnants of uh, leather. All There's a... remaindered. Everything yeah. about it is scraps. Manufacturing has so much waste that goes on the cutting room floor and then gets thrown away. So where does the fabric come from? Where does the leather come from? We get them from all different places. We have in Boulder Cloth Construction started by giving us end bolts. So we were able to make them into backpacks. The design center in Denver gave us smaller pieces which we made into specific bags designed you know with that shape in mind because you can't always choose when well, you're getting re remaindered materials. I can't quite figure out this bag. Tell me about this So one. this is called the bear claw and it's literally made with one piece of material so you can sling it over. It's just a really interesting little bit different design. So people are using them as purses, diaper bags, maybe grocery bags, whatever they want. Grocery exactly. bags, definitely. Yeah, gym bags, purses. And I take it you guys are doing very well because I understand at overstock.com they keep adding uh, a number of these. Actually they do. We have a more basic model for overstock because we have to produce a lot of them. Right. And in this case we have some plain colors, silver, black, denim. And uh, you have to have a lot of inventory and we can't, these are so one of a kind. Right, yeah. So we use remnants and some more plainer things for our overstock. And then for the other, and the other more the beautiful one, ones one we have on ones. our site right now. End up yeah. on our side and at other retailers. So when you go to get one, you might get one if it's not overstock. You might get one. It's, 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 it's totally unique. No one else has one. Nobody exactly else like has one. That's the beauty of yeah. it. Women don't want to all look alike. And whenever <laughs> you have a handbag out, I mean, you can have something that is so unique. And you need a lot of them because you need a purple one when you wear purple. And, oh, you know, now this sounds like my one. wife. <laughs> <laughs> I need seven of them, she says. Well, calm yeah. down, Mitch. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, these are so different. They're so unique, and the beauty of this story is that even in a tough economic town, uh, time, a company like yours is doing right. really well. well. We just got off the ground, and people are interested and want our product. A lot of times when you're buying sustainable items, you're paying more money for it, first off. Yeah. To go green, it often costs more money. This, the materials that we get are sometimes over $200 a yard donated. So all these retail for under $100. Wow. And the point is you're getting a gorgeous, sustainable product. It makes you feel good. We're keeping stuff out of the trash, and it's beautiful. Well, and, and it looks like there's a lot of work that goes into these. Uh, you guys aren't sitting in your basement sewing like crazy. How do you get no, these things made? No, but somebody is. We have color they're all Colorado sewers, and so really? we really put our money into the labor, and there's a lot of workmanship in them. I mean, yeah, there are a really lot of nicely. really nice details. That are that are put into the construction. That's that's where we put our money. Rather than into the materials, we're able to put it into labor. Well, more power to you. We nice. want to thank our Cubs Bags co-founders <laughs> Alexis Bale and Judy Godek for joining us today. Thank you. Good Thanks luck. Continued thank success. Keep selling. We're keep, having fun. Keep this stuff out of the landfills. That is for sure. And you can find a link to the Cubs Bag website on the DenverChannel.com. Just click on the TV icon.